and to use as a building blocks towards success. Chris St. Jr.'s message, a thought-provoking delivery, resonates and captivates audiences of every kind, filling them with inspiration and instructions on how to move forward. Chris St. Jr. faced many challenges growing up in the inner city, determined to beat the odds while carrying the weight of his oldest brother serving nearly 20 years in prison before his eventual release. Chris St. Jr. desired to be more raised in, a, in an environment where it is deemed certain that African American males will be dead or in jail by, 20, by 25 years of age. Chris believes is that he is a product of his expectations and not of his environment. He has a perfect blend of street smarts, book smarts, and common sense. A Garnett native and a Garnett public school alumni, Chris St. Jr. was a two-sport star athlete in high school. Sports in particular, football became his ticket out of the inner city. After graduating from Ottawa Hills High School in 2001, Chris went on to play football at Michigan State University before setbacks prevailed his athletic aspirations. At the college level, Chris never attained a level of athletic proficiency that would justify a career as a professional athlete. As he faced his stark reality, he began to look for answers that would reveal his true calling. Chris turned to God and became, began focusing more on his education, thus taking control of his destiny. As a result, in 2008, Chris earned his master's degree in clinical social work from Wayne State University before becoming a clinical therapist and changing the face of therapy at 24 years old. Chris made a commitment to work in service of our youth to pass along lessons he learned and to provide foundation for young men. He found a great city, also known as Grand City Sports, a community-driven nonprofit organization geared toward at-risk youth, sports, and education in 2008. Grand City has become a vehicle for positive change, helping many youth connect with positive males in the community while improving their lives. With the emergence of social media, Chris was also able to inspire thousands of people online and in his everyday life. He is also up producing an upcoming book Pursuing his doctor, and we're so grateful to have Christine Jimmy with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you, and good afternoon, everybody. I want to first say congratulations to our graduates. Can we get them a round of applause? I've been 
day that it do, um, that I shouldn't have these type of opportunities because I'm just entirely too young to have done all this stuff. I want to tell you guys today, never let people put limitations on you. Never let people put limitations on you. The media and the local news, they are responsible for a large part of my success with it or not. See, when I used to watch TV, I turned the TV on and I saw everything that they was putting out there, but I never saw me. I never saw me on that screen. TV never described me. And so somebody may say, who am I? Well, first off, I'm a man of God. Secondly, I'm a guy who earned his bachelor's and master's degree. By the time I was 24, it changed the face of therapy. <laughs> the media doesn't show that image, though. I was surrounded by failure where I come from. Underperformers and underachievers. It's all I seen, it's kind of it's all I knew. I was a first generation college student. I was first in my family to graduate with any type of degree. See, but what set me apart, and Johanna kind of mentioned it, is the fact that I was not only book smart, I was street smart, and I had common sense. And see, when you had all those three traits and you stepped foot on the college campus, colleges ain't really seen that before. So y'all sitting there wondering how did he do all that at such a young age? When you bring them three traits to the college, you'll blaze through any career. Today I want to share with you guys what I live like and what kept me motivated through the tough times. See, you are a product of your expectations, not your body. I'm going to say that one more time. You are a product of your expectations, not your body. See, like many of you, I was told I wasn't going to be nothing in this life. Like many of you, I was told I wouldn't be successful. Like many of you, there's some people that expect us to fail. They didn't think y'all were gonna make it to this day, to this graduation right here. The sad thing is, coming from where we come from, we train by each other not to achieve. We train by each other not to achieve from where we come from. And where we come from, Wrong has become the new best practice. I'm here to tell you today that wrong is not the norm. It's just the accepted way of living for some of y'all friends. Yeah. Today I want to challenge you to come out from among them. It's time for you to transition from fit in and standing out. Thank you. 
completion and actually finish on it. One particular trait that we have is that we do things, but we never finish things. And just like me, I'm guilty of it too. There were things along my journey that I would start and I would never come back to it. But y'all can't say that about this uh, diploma you guys just earned. I stood on some shoulders and some other people to do that. It wasn't just me. I 
my acting teachers. I, I had people like Michelle Barber in my life pushing me, challenging me. I had some people I wanted to know. So make sure you appreciate them. Remember, that's 